10 to 15 years ago, this water was much more polluted than it is now. You know, even a service like this, like getting splashed now, like people, if it's a hot day, they, they love getting splashed. Whereas <laughs> 10 years ago, they'd, they'd like, probably uh, get sick from it. <laughs> Water taxis have made a big splash in Halifax with two companies starting in the last couple months. They're being billed as a new way to get around the city and a service that opens up new destinations. We thought we'd investigate. Uh, we're called the Harbour Water Taxi. Uh, we will do basically on-demand service. Anywhere there's a dock that's safe to, to pick you up, we will do that within the confines of the harbour. So my company is Shabato Water Taxi. And basically we're like a point-to-point on-call service operating basically like a regular taxi but on water. So it could be anywhere from Bedford to uh, the Dartmouth Yacht Club to, to Dartmouth. Point Pleasant, um, Fleming Park. There's a number of public docks along the Northwest Arm that we serve. Starting later this year probably we'll be able to start serving downtown. Although that's not quite clear right now. There's a provincial pilot project going on right now and they are reluctant to let anyone else use their docks at the moment. Uh, within the, the harbour, we'll come and uh, get you and pick you up. Did you uh, say to greet to these gentlemen? No. Oh, you know, give it a the benches you're sitting on continue. Bring your skis over the head, around the waist once at the bottom, comes to the neck here. We've also got some commuters that uh, that are coming on board that uh, want the service every you know Monday to Friday. They just take this thing to take, work. Take it to work, right? You know, you, you don't have to fight traffic, you don't have to fight parking, you know, all those things. So, so jump on the water taxi. Three, four minutes, you're across the water, and you're you're at your office. I, I wouldn't classify us as a ferry service. We're more of a taxi service. But the boats themselves are quite different. As you can see here, this is an open air zodiac. Uh, very lightweight. We are only six passengers or less, uh, plus six plus the captain, uh, so we're smaller. You're going to feel the wind in your hair, probably get a few splashes. It's more of a group that everybody knows each other, you feel you know close, you can chat and, and really have an experience. destination so far has been McNabb's Island actually it's been a really popular destination McNabb's Island is a big uh, is a big one for us where that's probably right now 60 65 percent of our business uh, it's a huge forested island it's probably about three quarters the size of the Halifax Peninsula yeah. it's mostly covered in forest there's huge beaches um, there's old forts from sort of different eras all scattered across it there's sort of an abandoned town site basically uh, huh. you know a few houses still standing uh, and yeah, it's just like this huge place to explore right in the middle of the harbor. I'll do a quick drop and I'll be in and out of there. You're gonna do a quick drop off and I'll be out of your way. Huh? <laughs> yeah, what the hell? I got here first. Okay. 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 Look, I get a person of it too. That's right. <laughs> How we view ourselves as a connector. We're, we're, we're a connector of the harbor. So we're connecting Halifax to Dartmouth, Dartmouth to Halifax, and Bedford uh, as well, and all the other communities. You know, operating from the water opens up new parts of the city and really lets you experience the city from literally a different angle. So that's our experience with water taxis. Are they a viable way to get around? Well, at this point, we say whatever floats your boat. We're playing a fax and I'm gonna go and dry.